be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you a quick uh, hack to make endless melodies in Logic Pro 10 using the step sequencer, okay? A quick hack to make endless melodies in Logic Pro 10 using the step sequencer. So let's go ahead and jump in. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So first things first, we're gonna need to pick some type of instrument sound. So I'm gonna do a software instrument. We can go ahead and pick up Alchemy as far as our sound bank. I'm gonna push create. All right, we're gonna have to pick out some type of basic sound here. So what we could do, it doesn't really matter. I can just say pick a bell. Maybe not that bell, but let's see. All right, bet. So we have a, a bell sound here. Like I said, I'm gonna be showing you how to make endless melodies in Logic Pro 10 using the step sequencer. So first things first, let's go ahead and pull up the step sequencer. If you go over here to the scissors, all right, it's gonna pull this option up. You can go with the piano roll and then score and then step sequencers right here, okay? So just click on step sequencer, all right? And then, then all we gotta do is this, check this out. See where you see C. This is normally just a way to transpose your melodies into different keys, okay? This tip that I'm gonna show you right here is if you scroll right here where it says off, you have all of these different types of of, of scales and keys and different, like, man, is this endless type of stuff you can do with this. So of course we know about the major scales right here. So like, if I was gonna do a melody, You know what I'm saying? It's, it's gonna all, all the notes are based on the major uh, chord. Vice versa, we got the natural minor. But we have all these cool other different types of uh, scales that you can use. So like, for instance, this Lydian. Or this mix, uh, mixo, Lydian. Or we got this Dorian. And as you can see, basically, um, it's sounding different each time just because each of these are diff represents different scales, okay? So, for instance, let's just say we're gonna lock in on, let's say this one, let's see. The, the hack behind this is really just understanding that any note that you play on this is gonna be within this scale, and you could pick the different, uh, you know, transpose of the different keys but I can literally just come in here and type in whatever, and it's gonna come out with something dope. Then you can slow this down some. Over here and transpose it to different keys. Major, major, major hack, man. Make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps out. Make sure you also give it a thumbs up if this helped you out at all. Thank you so much for watching. Also, make sure you go to my site, BeMakingBasics.com. We got so many different options for you to you know help better yourself as a producer, uh, especially if you're just getting started. We got courses on there from anywhere from beginner level courses to intermediate, even some more advanced stuff. And we have several different kits that you can get, different loot packs and everything. Go to BeMakingBasics.com if you want to learn more. Also, you can click the links below uh, to go right into that. But thank you so much for watching. This is the tip of the day, and I'll see you in the next video.